hello everybody as you can see from the title right now i have a quick news update for you talking about kingdom hearts news so number one we are going to be talking about kingdom hearts 3 dlc coming up in the near future tetsuya Moore has confirmed through an interview with dengeki playstation which was translated by kingdom hearts insider that they are already working on kingdom hearts 3 dlc and he actually has admitted that he's been sleeping less since the game released um and then he also did mention certain things like like explaining how characters came back like for example Xion which a couple of people including myself were kind of confused on and he's mentioned in the interview that you can maybe theorize about how she came back but most likely and possibly we will explain that in the DLC coming forward as well he did mention critical mode he did say that they are fine tuning and adjusting and bug testing things for critical mode because when he releases it he wants it to be that really fun enjoyable mode that people remember it for and not to just be something that makes the game generally harder he wants it to be fun and he wants it to be a challenge like we all remember it being so that's very good news to hear and also it is implied that critical mode will be free as well so that is another great thing to hear moving on from there we're going to be heading over to kh13 where in the kh3 ultimania which a lot of people have been translating very very quickly for us english speakers that tesuna more says that there will be one more game at least between kingdom hearts 3 and kingdom hearts 4 and there are already various ideas being thrown around about what the next game is going to be so they're already hard at work on that front with that being said tesuna more did mention in another interview which i can't exactly remember off the top of my head but he did mention that if he was to go in depth about xanort like he wanted to there probably would have been one more game in between kingdom hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 mainly focusing on Xanort so this could mean possibly that this next game in between Kingdom Hearts 3 and 4 could actually be dealing with Xanort and could lead us into the next chapter and saga of Kingdom Hearts or it could possibly mean that we could be getting some very serious story DLC updates focusing a little bit more on Master Xanort because that is a big thing that a lot of people did want to see they wanted to kind of see young Master Xanort as a regular young person not the young Xanor who's traveling through time and knows everything and not the old man that we know today we just want to see him growing up and how he came to be the person that he is so that is the quick update with Kingdom Hearts news guys we're going to be getting critical mode final mix DLC is on the way and that's going to include new story content explaining things much better and there will be at least one more game in between Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 4 and maybe even more we don't exactly know at this point but things are looking very very good for the kingdom hearts series and i cannot wait to see what comes next so with that being said it has been your boy skips i will see you all in the next video and i am out